It's not just spring breakers. Bookings for summer travel are taking off. Airline and cruise bookings skyrocketing. Why are we seeing all this optimism, all this excitement? You have a lot of people who have been home for a long time. So whether or not they should be traveling, they've decided to go for it. Now, most of us haven't flown in a while. So when you get here to the airport, you're going to notice a lot of changes. Everything is designed to be contact free. So that means your boarding pass is going to be right here on your phone. On top of that, some destinations actually require you to have a negative COVID test or be vaccinated. So be prepared. Have a picture of your test results right here on your phone so that you can provide them on demand. Most TSA agents won't ask you for your boarding pass anymore. Just slide your driver's license into a scanner and walk through the checkpoint. The airports are still pretty empty. Passengers are down 57%, but that doesn't mean that your plane will be empty. The airlines are simply flying fewer planes per day. So unless you're flying Delta, which is keeping the middle seats empty, you're going to be shoulder to shoulder with people. All planes are now being thoroughly disinfected between flights. The ventilation system is constantly running with air circulated every six minutes. Once on board, you must wear a mask and the FAA is really cracking down. There are massive fines being given to people for not complying with mask rules. So you have to wear your mask. You can't flout that. Cruise lines are also reporting a surge in bookings up 55%. Tom McAlpin is the CEO of Virgin Voyages, a new cruise line that is set to launch as soon as the CDC gives the green light. We are going to be requiring vaccines from all of our sailors and all of our crew uh, in order to be able to board. We encourage everybody to get out there and get your vaccine. It's the best way to ensure that you're going to be safe. 